Welcome back to another video right here with Chris G. Are you ready? Today we are going to fill some half pants. All right, this is a video made specifically for beginners or for anyone who has never used tube watercolors before, right? But sometimes you buy tubes and tubes can be scary to a beginner. So today we're gonna fill up some half pants. You need three things. Three, one, empty half pan. Two, watercolor paint, tubes. Today we'll use Thalo Blue. And three, a safety pin or a toothpick or a needle, anything will do. I'm gonna use the back of this free Korea Transit tour pin. You'll need this needle. Let's do it. First, make sure you have one half pan. Uh, empty half pan. So get your empty half pan. Next, get any tube color of watercolor paint that you would like to fill the half pan with. Okay? Next, open the watercolor tube. Alright, so we're going to open the watercolor tube. Okay? The best way I've found to fill these half pans is to go around the edge. Right? To go around the edge of the pan and then fill in the uh, in-between areas. All right, so let's do it. So we're gonna, boom, put some paint right there. And we're gonna continue to move around the edge of the pan, okay? See, now if you see that, I filled up the bottom half. Now I'm gonna put a tab bit in the center and then hit it on the desk a couple of times. That kind of shakes the paint down into the bottom of the pan, okay? Now we're gonna continue with layer number two. You can fill half pans up as much as you want. You can fill them all the way to the top or you can fill them two thirds or a third of the way. Anyway is okay. Okay, it's totally up to you. That's the, the good thing about half pans is you have control of the amount of paint that you want to put into the half pan. Okay, put your top back on your paint. Some people like to fill the pan about a third of the way, let it dry, then fill up another layer, let it dry, fill up a third layer, and then let it dry again. And that's okay, but sometimes I get impatient. So what I like to do is, I like to fill it up with as much paint as I feel like I'll need. And then what you do is you take your needle and you go around the paint. And if you see this, what the needle is doing is basically removing all of the, the air that might be inside of the pan. Because you have to let these pans dry you have to let them dry and sometimes when the pans dry they collapse and they shrink well actually they're, they're all gonna do that because whenever this paint dries out it will condense and it'll get uh, smaller but so now if you see this now the consistency is very flat and very neat looking okay it doesn't have the same ridges as it did when I was squeezing out the paint so that's what this is good for. All right, so that's finished. Now you have a nice pretty pan of paint. Now there's one more step to this. You have to let this dry. You have to let this dry before you start using it. If you just put the squeeze it out into a, a palette and you wanted to use it right then, that's okay. But if you wanna keep this in a pan and you wanna use it multiple times later, it's better to let this dry first and then come back to use it. I'm gonna show you a couple of pans that I've already done. Here are a couple of pans. These are also Daniel Smith colors that I already have done. Okay, we'll bring this one back. So if you look at these, they're very smooth consistency, right? They're very smooth, but it's because I knocked all of the air out of it with the needle before I dried them. Okay. If you look at this one, this is ultramar uh, ultramarine blue. 
or ocean marine, French ocean marine, I didn't get all the needles out of, I mean, all the bubbles out. So you see it has holes in it. Also with the pyro red, same thing. It's got a hole down there because I didn't fill it in. Okay? And sometimes, for instance, this is burnt sienna from Mission Gold. And it completely collapsed, right? There's a big hole in the center because when it dried, it fell into itself. And some of these Mission Golds cracked really bad and stuff. But there's one other thing I want to show you. It is the consistency of different paints. So every paint is not going to look the same when you dry it. For example, this Mission Gold paint, even though it's dry, it always keeps a very uh, a sticky consistency. It's never really dry. It doesn't dry out. Okay, but like this Daniel Smith, I can rub it and it doesn't come off on my finger. This uh, Burnt Sienna, if I touch it, see that? It comes off onto my finger. But, so different paints will dry different. So don't worry if your paint doesn't look like this Daniel Smith or like this uh, Mission uh, Magello Mission Gold, okay? If it's dry, it's dry. Now, the best way to dry these, you can put them by a window. Uh, you can put them by a window, that's fine, and let them dry. Try not to put them in direct sunlight. Direct sunlight is bad, very bad. Or you can take a watercolor box like this, open it up. Uh, these are half pans that were already filled, okay? You can put your pans inside of the box then close it, but do not snap it closed, okay? Leave a crack. Put this outside in the sun for a day. Well, it matters how hot it is where you are. Where I am, and all it takes is a day because it gets really hot here. But uh, maybe if it's not too hot where you live at, it might, it might take a day or maybe two days. But leave it outside, check on it, and then your paint should go from looking wet this box changed the color of the video all right it should go from looking wet like this to dry like this okay i hope this video helped you out if it did please drop a like down in the bottom it's a big thumb all right appreciate you for watching if you have any questions just drop them in the comment box see you again next time Peace.